morning and welcome back to the channel. The mezze was a uh, was an experience to say the least. It was it wasn't a good one. I mean, even the there was a noise all night. The toilet wasn't stuck to the wall. I don't know. Anyway, of course the events of yesterday didn't help. Still going through my head a bit, but anyway, cheer ourselves up today. We're gonna jump off a mountain and go paraglide. Let's go. Yeah. We booked our paragliding with a company called Sky Sports. So we read a few things before we came out here about this place and this one got really good reviews. So the whole package, if you want to get the videos, the photos, pickup service, it's about £145 each. It's not cheap, but you're up there for about half an hour in the sky. So you go up by cable car, so what, just at this mountain behind, which is Baba Dag. So we're jumping off there. It's quite a big mountain. And you see them all landing down by the beach here in Olive Denise. So we're just going to go in, get checked in here, and then we're going to get taken up, get sorted out, kitted out, and everything up there, and then we'll be leaping off. So it is 20 to 10. I think we're supposed to be leaving about 10 o'clock, so I think we'll leave from here at 10. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My name is John. All right. I will go for this. Nice to meet you, Jackie. My name is Arda. Live together. It's your first time, or? Yes, first time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I thought we we're going up cable car, but. We've come up in the bus, which was an adventure in itself. There's just sheer drops on the sides of them roads. But we're at the top here now, it's absolutely huge. It's a mountain. So the views are pretty spectacular. But, uh, let's see how this goes. This is the launching pad here. Are you nervous? Uh, nah, I'll come. 
bike, yeah. Yes. Like a backpack, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 First we will walk, okay? Right. While we are walking, I will pull the glider, come yeah. above yeah. us. Oh, yeah. Take it out. Ne küçük demedin abi ha? Ha canım. Beraber üfleyelim. Keep moving your legs. Gidelim. Aşağıda üfleyelim. Aşağıda üfleyelim. Tamam. Beraber üfleyelim. Beraber üfleyelim. Beraber üfleyelim. Beraber How long have you been doing this? I am flying since 99. 99? I started as a hobby and then it became my job. Right. <laughs> Good job to have. <laughs> Thank you. Have you worked for Sky Sports? Yeah.
like yours. Slow and faster. It is 20% for acrobatic.
paragliding with Sky Sports Paragliding, which is on the main strip in Olu Denise. What did you think of paragliding? Uh, I loved it, absolutely loved it. I would have gone again if I could afford it. Mm. <laughs> it's not it's a brilliant. cheap. No, it's not cheap. Not a cheap activity. But I mean, what? From getting picked up, it was about quarter past nine. We got dropped off back at the office after the flight. It was about ten past quarter past eleven, I think. They were up in the sky for a good half hour. I think the scariest part are probably the taking off and the landing. Cause you come in really quick, and the taking off is a bit like kind of stood up, but you've got to pull your seat up, which was, was a bit tricky. No, it was really good. I mean, the views were superb up there. Like you can see for absolutely miles across all the forests and the mountains down to Fetier, and then the whole coastline along here. See over the Blue Lagoon. And then of course all the towns and stuff around here is, it was really really good. Please we've done it because it was uh, yeah, getting a bit of flies here. So yeah, if you're paying cash, you get three t-shirts. So how many jetties out of five for paragliding? Five. <laughs> okay, right, we're gonna have a kebab. So first one we had in Turkey because we've just never had time to get one. So we're gonna get these kebabs and see what they're like. So we're getting a mixed kebab from Titi, which is right on the beach front. We were here last night for a Newcastle match. So yeah, we're just gonna see what these kebabs are like and then we'll move on. Can we join the kebab and please? Because it's warm. It's um, it's hot, yeah. It's really tasty, actually it's really tasty. And Donna meets like, cool. really meaty, yeah. Really like thin like bits of lamb, isn't it? I would enjoy you more if the flies weren't biting your legs at the same time. Yeah, that was good. The kebab was really nice, but just getting attacked off as these tiny little flies, I think I mentioned on our previous video, and they just keep biting, and it's like a horse fly, but they're tiny flies. Right, needles, I just it's like a burning sensation, so you'll feel something on your leg, and then you look down and there's a fly there, and oh, I don't know what it is, but the guy there, there was quite a few hornets knocking around, and apparently the the flown in from. Asia, uh, it's these oriental hornets which apparently can just knock you for six and actually kill you as well so they're, they're quite dangerous the one hovering around with plate and they didn't look very nice so they come over from Asia somewhere and uh, I don't know whether it's because of the weather or whatever but it's uh, please I didn't get stung off one of them because it could be the end of your days but we're just gonna grab an ice cream and then we're gonna move on The ice cream's lovely. I've got a medium, so it's four scoops. And it was 200 lira each for these, but good size. And I got some chocolate sauce on the top, which is really nice. Ah, it's good. Very good. Very minty. How many out of five? Oh, five. All of it. That's just a very quick look at the main strip of Olu Denise. So as you can see, there's plenty of bars, restaurants, all kind of do the same kind of thing. Plenty of places do your English breakfast, your fish and chips, even a place doing liver and onions. There's plenty of bank machines up here, plenty of ice creameries, plenty of places to book trips. It's your standard place to come. We were down here last night and it was chocker. <coughs> Quite loud as well, the far cry from Dalian.
an hour's drive east of Alou Deniz brings you to the Saclacent National Park, which is where we are now. It was a beautiful drive over. You get to see the real kind of Turkey, all the little villages and that out in the mountains. Really, really beautiful. So here we are at Saclacent National Park and the place where we are at the minute there were a lot of kind of extreme sports so you've got your zip lining you've got your rafting one of the main reasons we've come here is for Saklakent gorge which is a really deep gorge and just between two kind of big mountains just an opening in the mountain just like a tiny little gap so that's one of the reasons we came here because it looks very similar to a place in switzerland and there's also quite a big waterfall here as well so we're not sure what we're going to do or what we're going to see when we're here because we've only kind of just planned to come in the last few days. So we're going to go around, we're going to have a look, see what it's like. But the main reason we're here is for the gorge anyway. So let's go and take a look around here. So there is a charge for the car park and it's 50 lira. And just noticed as well the toilets are 5 lira. rent the appropriate shoes which were 30 lira so probably just less than a pound so it's worth doing for that it's not much Twenty three lira each to get entrance to the canyon. So there's a bit of a wooden walkway all the way through the gorge here. Quite busy. Totally, totally catered for the tourist as well. You can just tell by all the rafting and the extreme sports. This has been totally set up for tourists. It's beautiful, mate. pretty cold in here although you'd expect that coming from the mountain well, I mean this view superb There's all these big kind of rapids coming down into the river here. There's another one back there. And it looks like there's a little walkway through, like a bit of rope going across the because that current's quite strong in the, in the river. There's loads of people. It's just a shame it's as busy. I had a feeling it might be because it's afternoon now. I come here earlier in the morning, it's probably better. Maybe after five. Because you look usually a lot of the tour groups leave about half four, five o'clock a little bit. And this place closes at seven. But even still, beautiful place. Let's take a walk through here. That river is really cold. From your knees down, it's numb, it's that cold. And it's really busy, you just kind of get moved for people trying to negotiate that waterfall, trying to get past people, and people are getting in the way. Anyway, let's continue this walk through. So I'm really pleased with getting these shoes because I've just seen a lady crossing the river there. She cut her knee open. And I just had a look down, she just had like normal sandals on, so she's obviously slipped somewhere and hit on me. I would highly recommend getting these shoes because crossing that waterfall was 
a lot easier with these because you can get a grip on the stones. Uh, there's people flip flops going everywhere. Highly recommend. Like I say, it's only 30 lira, so less than a quid. walking through there's loads of people who got like mud on their face so just like us at the mud baths these waters must have some kind of properties in them probably all the minerals and stuff that are coming naturally from the the rocks here i didn't realize it was quite as long so it's pretty hard walking on the stones in the river because the shoes aren't very well padded on the bottom going and going but it's getting narrower and narrower the more you go through so there must be something like near the end but even still I mean it's a beautiful walk and just getting closed in by the rocks now the narrower it gets and the more people there are haven't got much room to move you do really need to watch your foot because you can't see at the bottom of the water some rocks there that are quite hidden so yeah, having to tread carefully and then some bits just drop quite deep so it's like above your shin. So I've nearly fell over five times I think. Picked a rock and it just keeps going. I'm not sure how far this thing is, but we'll keep going. Looks like there's some kind of cave up here, but I didn't expect this. Apparently there is a big waterfall at the end. It's another kilometre from that little waterfall we've just seen. But there was a guy there, claiming to be a tour guy. And he was going to charge 600. I said no. So he went down to 500, then went back to 600. I got him down to 300. I was like, oh no. Time's ticking on. It's taken a while to walk through just to where we are. And we've got to get back to Dalian. So it's probably going to be at least a two hour drive back there, or two and a half maybe. It's a shame I haven't seen the waterfall because that's one of the things I wanted to see. I'm not sure if there's another way to get to it, other than through walking through the gorge. There might be another place you can park because I have seen some signs a little bit further up the road. Where there's zip lining and all that kind of stuff. And I think you might be able to see the waterfall from there. So depending on what time we get back, we'll have a look and see if we can manage it or not if it is up there so we're just back at the start point now where there's like a bit of a cafe and that and it's absolutely chocker so obviously everybody's just come back from the trail and it's just take a look at this <laughs> That was the Sacklickand Gorge. It was really good, beautiful inside. And it's nice and cool the further you get through, but it gets harder the further you get through. So I think something like the first 1,500 meters is like okay. And then after that, it starts getting trickier because you just can't see the bottom of the water. So you can't judge how deep it is. You can't see the rocks. So you've really got to take your time. And But other than that, I mean, absolutely class really nice but you could probably spend a full day around here and if i come back to this area of turkey i think i'll be making a point of spending a day here and doing some of the activities on the river and going and seeing the big waterfall because i wouldn't mind trying the 
the zip lining, I wouldn't mind trying the raffle. I think all that would be quite good. So you, you literally could spend your full day here. And there are trips from, say, Olu Denise I've seen. I think you can actually do them from Dalian as well, but it's a bit further away. I've, I've enjoyed it, it was really good. What did you think? Of yeah, yeah, no, it was really good. Gorge itself is um, lovely, gorgeous. Um, Gorge. Gorgeous, uh, yeah. It's just, it's a bit of a, t a tough trek, really. Um, please went from got the shoes because we would never have made it in the shoes that we've got. I don't know how some people I don't know how some did people it. Did They've it, got yeah. flip flops on. I've seen three people fall over at the exact same place <laughs> just because you can't judge the depth. Yeah, you can't. It's very hard on your feet. And yeah. even these shoes are like dead thin, so if you've got some. There's no padding. Water shoes with some padding on, that would be recommended. But yeah, no, it's good. It's really good. Um, it's quite, like I say, quite cool in there as well, so it's been nice. No, it's been a nice afternoon. Yeah, that's probably a better thing to do first thing, I would say, when it's not so busy. Because uh, even now we're looking at what well, it's four o'clock nearly now, it's still quite a few and it's there. there's still people going in. I think it closes at eight o'clock. I thought it was seven, but I think it's eight o'clock. I've just seen somewhere. Unless that's just one of the restaurants. Uh, so what would you give that out of five, Jackie's? So I'll give it a four and a half, yeah. just because my feet hurt. <laughs> yeah. But it's been Still a good day. Half. It's been a really good day with the paragliding and then the gorge. Because I didn't know if we're going to be able to fit this bit in just because I didn't know how long the paragliding would take and how long it would take to get here but we've managed to fit it in but we've got a, a bit of a drive back to Dalian now which is probably going to be about two, two and a half hours Right, well we've got two kilometres up the road and we've actually seen a place you can come and see the waterfall so we've decided we're going to stop and have a look seeing as we're over this way now so we'll go in and we'll show you around I had to pay 50 lira to park at this one. We weren't sure if you would have to pay or not, but yeah, you have. We've got a whole kind of set up here as well. There's like little tree houses and stuff, but yeah. Take a look at this, it's quite cool. more shoe rental double the price and not far to go but seen a few people slipping around here so I thought better be safe than sorry so it was 40 Turkish lira here but I suppose we haven't really had to pay an entrance fee other than the parking apparently it's only 300 meters from here walk up and show you this waterfall around this corner. Wow, look at this. the waterfall anyway, probably kind of deal with the water, quite heavy flow. It's not too far actually, it only took about 5 minutes to walk through 10 minutes. So yeah, we've, we've reached our end point for the day, but unfortunately the holiday is coming to a close soon, so I think probably over the next few days we'll probably spend the time just relaxing. But we'll have a few more videos to come after this, probably like the restaurant and we'll also give like an overall perspective of the holiday at the end as well. That's the end of this video anyway, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, don't forget to comment and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!